Now, if he's looking at Ellen and I or Sarah, I'd be like, all right, fair enough. But looking at Diego with that weirdly green smile. Ash gone from this world was never to be seen again. With Helen and Dolph gone, the Empire quickly crumbled. Ishtari was once more set back on the path of democracy. However, the wounds left by the Empire were deep indeed. As a result of the purge, which left many dead, the new government faced a difficult task indeed. I forgot to say watch the kitty like I did in the last video. In the countryside, thieves still make their own laws. And only the strong can survive. Yeah, basically there's a kitty on a barrel and it actually moves and semi-walks. Ultimately, not much changed since before the war started. People still must make their way by force if they will. It's only when the people lose this world that evil is able to flourish and take power. In that picture, like Lena was holding a arrow. Yeah. Pretty sure she was a mage. During this time, Ash's friends began to drift away. Dolan become a statesman and help to rebuild Ishtaria. Yeah, because he threatened anyone that didn't, he was going to whack him with his fucking axe. <laughs> See this big golden axe thing? Go over your head. Smack it over your face. Kira took off by herself on a journey of self-discovery. Silly bitch. I will admit, one of the only things you don't pick up is, like, an axe for someone off a boss. See, I thought that, um, Dallas, when you kill him, you might get, like, like, a mallet or something. <coughs> yeah. Because when you kill Kurtz, you get claws. When you kill Sabrina, you get a bow. When you kill Kane, you get a sword. You kill Dallas and get fuck all. Oh, Clint, new head of the SDF, waited for her return. See, so I think that when you kill Dallas, you should have got, like, you know, an axe or something. No. Yeah, but the thing is, is, is the axe aren't, aren't purchased weapons in the actual entire game, are they? Recently, there have been rumours that the two are made. You can purchase axes in the game. Yeah? Yes. But they're all swords, but... No. You purchase axes in the game. Hmm. I know you can get a golden axe, but that just goes into the bin because it yeah, sells cause... for like five thousand gold. I thought it was I thought it was more, but it's actually about two. It's actually two two k. Hmm. Come on, I don't know why people make anything out of gold. It's, it's a rare metal, but it's soft as fuck. Diego returned to Karachi to continue the family business. And the random moth flying around. Mm -hmm. Indicated he's probably spun all his money away. <laughs> Jago just looks extremely camp in that picture. He's like, oh, I'm a nice boy. Yeah. CGI design. Koto Toyama. CGI. CGI. There's fucking CGI in his bollocks. CGI in my ass. I'm on become Darius' apprentice machine maker. Yeah, this is probably the CGI, this bit right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite surprised that they, because like, in most of the other um, full motion video type stuff they do for this game, it's all voiceovers. Except for the end sequence. It's like... Sam Programmer. Ash and his companion. Os awesome love. Kassai. Let's try and pronounce some of these names, like Hishiri Tama... Tamawari. Oh, Tamo Tamawari, isn't it? So I got a job in a nearby bakery to be close to Amon. And I said in the, the first video I did, mate, she won't work in the bakery much longer if she's fucking like that all day. Oh, yeah. 
you don't know who's under that table, mate. I was about to say then again, you know, it could be a midget behind her. <laughs> Sound effect. Akira, Yama... Oh. Yamioka. Yamioka. I wrote... Nobuyuki Mas... What? Masuguji. Mufasa. <laughs> Noburu Saki... Oh, bollocks to these. Grog and Zoro sailed all over the world together. <laughs> I still get... I still sometimes get letters from faraway lands. It's like, it so begins to tell of One Piece. Dear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For One Piece even existed, yeah. Probably was actually. One piece, How's it going? Harry. Harry. Uh, sorry. Harry in a bar. There we go. Ash. Ayoshi. T oh, fuck. <laughs> Translation services. Huxley's always at home working on his stamp collection. Not big Huxley. No, Huxley. I like Huxley. Gained weight. He's not. No, he's wearing a baggy thing, you idiot. Gained weight. Oh, it was Nigel Hogg. Hope. Ending theme vocal, Jad Rannick. There that is. Special thanks, Yutaka Haruki. Special thanks, Tora Hagahara. Hagahara, mate. Kenobi Computer Entertainment, Tokyo! The days go by, one after the other. Get ready for some deja vu. The days go by one after the other. I swear we've been here. An endless procession of tomorrows. But nothing new to write about. If you look at her like there, character wise, she looks like she's about 10, doesn't she? Yeah. She's actually supposed to be about 20 odd? That ocarina, that melody, could it be? Could it be what? Bit of lag on the ocarina there. It is! Welcome back. I've been waiting for so long. So instead of knocking on the door and Ash going, by the way, I'm back home, plays a fucking ocarina melody. Oh, and wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there's there's the different ending picture. But wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Really? See you in the next episode? Yeah, bollocks. Which never <laughs> came out. <laughs> well, VH2, but it's completely different. Yeah, yeah last time VH2 I did this... nothing to do with Varanal Hearts. Here we go. Now, next, next on the business list there for yourself, Pete, what is the next game you're going to be let's playing for these people so they've got something else to watch while they're... Um... Hold on, let the crappy song play. Oh, screw the crappy song. I can't even hear it. <laughs> I won't be able to hear it watch the video. Hold up. That's really bad that it's come out really choppy. Wait till it's really bad. I might have to do a retake of that. Without, without something horrible. About you being in it. And just retake that last bit. Well, you <laughs> just can upload it so you can hear it. Now basically, I remember when this first came up. Congratulations, you're the master of Vandal Hearts. Thank you for playing. See you in the next episode. Yeah, Like I say, it's quiet for about 10 seconds. And then it does that song. First time I ever did it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. Fucking shit myself. <laughs> it's all quiet. And it just goes, Really fine. Oh my god. Oh, Actually made me jump the very first time I did it. But yeah, there you go. Congratulations, you're the master of Vanderhearts. Hearts. Thank you for playing. See you next time. That's what you get for completing Van Hearts. But next game um, on the agenda for Let's Play, I honestly don't know. I, I, I'm thinking, um, what's it called? Legend of Dragoon. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to see. 
like if I'm honest, like when it came to playing um, Jake Coon 2, uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing afterwards either. I've got a list of games that I can play, um, mm. but most of them I never really played, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, if I, if I do um, Legend of Dragoon, there's going to be lots and lots of editing because obviously I'm going to do training like I do in all my fucking RPGs and like like you do with um, Thingy, I'm just not going to show it. Because no people point. don't want to see you training because it's just no. it's just dull crap. This is the one thing I did find with Vandal Hearts though. Once you complete it and you get to this screen, you can't get off it. You, you have, have to, to reset, reset or turn your PlayStation off. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous, yeah. but yeah, um, as I was saying, with with Jake Coon, the problem that I had with Jake Coon is, especially Jake Coon Two, I should say, uh, is that when I'm training and you go into the random ogre vines, you can get random encounters with other mobs, like say Cure Nam, um, the Sweet Knights. That obviously, while I'm uploading a video or while I'm I'm saving the video, it it lags. So you don't really get the same the same feels. I can't really record those small little encounters. Well, see, I won't I won't upload and record. I'll upload, and once it's uploaded, then I'll record. That's how I do it. That's me though. Well, so yeah. Well, what I, what I do is I normally like... while while the game is like my computer's been running really nicely recently, as you already know, Pete. And obviously mm. the guys have seen the video sizes increase hugely in the last couple of couple of let's plays I've done. Um, you, you, my computer is running well enough for me to actually um, convert and save the files as big files because some of them I've had to stop. Like, when I've had to either answer a call to you or talk to me mum, talk to me brother yeah. or whatever, I've had to stop the recording for some reason. That's right, so, 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 we'll talk about this two seconds. Let me just end this video. So hang on, let's just wrap this up quickly. Right. So anyway, yeah, that's me with Vandal Hearts done. Uh, I'll have a look at what games I can play next. Um, if anyone does actually watch these, I'm going to post this on YouTube now that now that I've completed Vandal Hearts. And just basically try and give people an idea of trying to watch it. I'll, I'll make up a, a let's sort of um, you know a playlist in YouTube as well, put them in order and go from there. So, anyways, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all soon. So, bye for now. That but that's Vanna Hearts done and dusted. See you soon. Yeah, bye people.